we've come to the end of this course and I'm so excited and I'm glad that you're a part of it and I hope that you've learned something but I just want to leave you with a few words here if I may whenever people get information we do one of three things the first thing that we usually do is we we'll either forget about it the second thing is we store that somewhere and you know maybe come back to it at, at a later date and the third thing that we do is we implement it now I hope that you use the third option which is you implement what you've learned just don't take stuff that you've learned and then just put it in the, in the back burner somewhere and then say okay well I get to it at a later date the information that you've learned here can help you save thousands of dollars when creating an online store and also Joomla has so many great features in this course I didn't get the opportunity to go through each and every one yet but you can pick up my other course Joomla 3 for absolute beginners that goes into so much more detail in terms of how to use Joomla other features whether it's the menus the users the, the system you know just different part of it and with your store please make sure that you you go through the store like a regular customer would and you test the order if you have to you know create a create a, a fake price or something just for one of the prices just put in you know a dollar and process a payment like a customer would so you don't want to create a store without testing it now the reason why I, I didn't test the store here is because I want you to get involved in that I just didn't want to do everything for you so when you go through and you test the store if you have any problems having the questions please uh, let me know I'll be glad to help you with whatever questions that you have but this has really been an exciting journey for me and understand that everything doesn't happen overnight so if there's some things about the course that you still need to understand some things that you have to you know get down pat it's okay for you to go through the course more than once you know if you have to review some things you know repetition is the best way for you to learn so there are times when you may have to go through the course and watch a few videos a few times to get it and that's okay but the key thing is that you use this information just don't store it somewhere and say you know what I get back to this whenever the chances are most of the times when we just store things somewhere we never actually get back to it for a long long time and sometimes we just never get back to it so I hope that you take this and you learn and you start implementing it and I would love to see the store that you actually create from what you've learned